Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to do a little hack video. Just a quick something for your Saturday morning. Now what I've got here are two power banks. And, you know, these things are incredibly useful. But they do have one drawback, and that is they're only 5 volt output. Unless you buy a, a specialized one. But, with a quick little 5 minute hack, you can make these whatever voltage you really need 12 volts 24 volts although keep in mind the first law of thermodynamics which states that in a closed system energy can neither be created nor destroyed which of course means there ain't no such thing as a free lunch so you're gonna trade current for voltage and you know what trading current for voltage means right means we're going to use a boost converter. So a power bank, a boost converter, what else do we need? A cable. In this case we're going to use the USB to a barrel jack. Let's get started. Okay, first off we're going to modify our cable. Oh my god, I'm like the Swedish chef of electronics. First you get the chicken. Uh, if you don't know who the Swedish chef is, you're either too young to remember The Muppet Show or there was something very very wrong with your childhood so let's get the chicken cut it in half this will be our input this will be our output and I'm gonna strip the wires okay these are nice black and red pretty much no doubt which is which however we're gonna check it anyway What's, what was the old uh, carpenter saying? Measure once, cut twice? Something like that, right? So we'll, uh, we'll strip a little, little bit of that. This might be... Oh, Lord, those are too thin for my strippers. I'll use the strippers that God gave me. And really, that's all we need just a very little bit and we're gonna tin these so let me grab my helping hands I got some solder and my soldering iron and my cleaner which I'm stabbing a little dab for thermal transfer and we'll solder those up. Just like that. And then before we go any further, we're going to make sure that red is positive and black is negative because you just never know. Let me grab a meter. So here's the O1B35T, which is a Bluetooth data logging meter. Very nice meter. Um, O1 has actually come up with a newer, improved version of this, and we'll be reviewing that very soon. So we want to make sure we're not shorting anything out here. Uh oh, lost my red wire. One moment. There she is. Alright, so there's my red, there's my black. Turn on the old voltmeter there. And the power pink isn't on. Now it's on. 4.7, close enough. And red is, whoops. Those wires are so thin, they're just slipping off. There we go. 5.7. Five point two, and we don't have a negative sign, so red is definitely positive. Now I'm going to do same thing to this wire. Okay, now we'll wire up our boost converter. The USB A side is our in. That's our in. So the red is our positive. Black is our negative, which we just confirmed with the meter.
and get them snugged up in there nicely. Okay, then our output, out positives on the top. So once again, that's our red. And once we get this all together, I mean, I'm just doing this for a proof of concept. But if you're doing it for something that you're going to be using in the field, you're going to want to, you know, find a way to secure this stuff better. You don't want these wires coming out at a bad time. I recommend duct tape. One of the all-time favorites in the engineer's toolbox, duct tape and WD-40. If it doesn't move, and it should, w, w, WD-40. And if it moves and it shouldn't, duct tape. Okay, once again, we're just going to confirm that our polarities are correct. These really aren't the, <laughs> the best probes to do that, but I'll make it work. So then we'll plug in our power bank. Yeah, it just snapped right out of there again. All right, turn on the power bank and 12.1 volts. Looks like we're in business. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you put a load on this, it's probably going to drop a little. So adjust uh, the set screw in your boost converter as necessary. And as the Swedish chef would say, here into morning and here into bork, here into morning and here bork, bork, bork. And as I would say, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Work, work, work.